good evening to all of you welcome to legal matters by sai babu sunkara in this video we are discussing a good case law on auto 6 and <coughs> rule 4 of the cpc where if any fraud or representation misrepresentation is there it should be explained in detail as to how it happened or if possible with the dates and times you have to explain the same simply you cannot say that this document is obtained by fraud you have to give the details that is what i told you at the time of or uh, explaining you order 6 that is pleadings now <clears> on <throat> the supreme court of india two judges bench justice mr shah and krishna morari in the case of cs ramaswamy <coughs> cs ramaswamy versus senthil vk vk senthil and others in civil appeal number 500 by 2022 they have clearly held that the allegation of fraud should be supported by further averments and allegations as to how the fraud has been committed they have to be explained otherwise please remember <coughs> the other party will try to get the suit within the limitation by the club or drafting so this is more important if you know the details of the case you will better appreciate the same therefore let us go to the factual matrix of the case right here mr ramaswamy the petitioner filed a civil suit before the trial court what for what for specific grounds that is for the cancellation of the sale deed executed by the so called senthil and others he wanted to cancel the sale deed because actually it was obtained in favor of their father that is uh, the this is this is you know name not necessary so therefore the representation is that the so called deed should be declared as null and void and they should be declared as the absolute owners of the land here the important point is how the defendant got the land registered this is more important as per the plaintiffs the defendant fraudulently misrepresented the character of the document as a joint development project and believing him their father signed on the same and they are thus the sale deeds have been got executed then when did they come to know about the so and so deed please remember the plaintiff says he came to know this deed in april 2015 that is when he and others visited the site they came to know the fraud when they visited the site so till such time what they have done nobody knows so why they have mentioned as visited the place in 2015 to cover the limitation period right now immediately the defendant he filed application to reject the plaint so he is a written statement that is a, so he filed <coughs> his pleadings under order 7 rule 11 so his plaint says that it has to be the suit was time bar so he wanted to get it so uh, so he get it uh, actually <coughs> rejected so order 7 rule 11 you saw rejection of a plaint rejection of a plaint is equal to decree that is what the defendant wants but the lower court and also high court dismissed the application of the defendant stating that uh, issue of limitation is a mixed question of law and fact already I told you mixed question of law and fact so they can decide based on the facts and circumstances therefore they say that this was obtained by fraud therefore the limitation does not arise so his reject his uh, representation has been rejected ultimately the defendant has gone to the top court now let us know what happened so here the lower court as well as the high court did not agree with the plea of the defendant that means uh, it is not by cancel bar, bar it is not barred by the limitation now high court the so honorable supreme court or the top court after con- consideration of the facts and opposing arguments please remember notice that the cause of action alleged or 
much prior to the execution of the register sale deeds so nothing was mentioned in the suit regarding the knowledge of the plaintiff please remember as to when they came to know or uh, actually uh, in para 19 he has also clearly stated that uh, the averments in para 19 are like not uh, believable so please remember the plaintiff resorted to the clever drafting by saying that they came to know about the fraud in april 2015 why to bring the suit into limitation the Supreme uh, high court and also the trial court they have also not considered the representation of the defendant uh, to reject the plaint under order 7 rule 11 now supreme court in its wisdom yes he said whenever you allege regarding the fraud or misrepresentation under order 6 rule 4 you have to mention the dates times and the details also without that it is not possible without that the lawyer in a very clever drafting he resorted to this which is not accepted by the honorable supreme court of india so the appeal is ever allowed and as per order 7 to 11 cpc the plaint has been rejected very good case law and now we have discussed please remember section 26 order 6 rule 4 order 7 to 11 of the cpc definitely they will be helpful for you in further prosecution of the cases civil cases please read the judgment and enrich your legal knowledge with this i am concluding thank you